Hey everyone! If you want your games to run smoother and your PC to respond faster, this video is for you. We'll go beyond the usual settings into group policy and registry stuff that actually make a difference. Warn. Be careful, editing the registry and group policy incorrectly can cause system issues. Always back up your system or create a restore point first. 1. Disable background apps via group policy. Run gpedit.msc. Go to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, App Privacy. Double click Let Windows Apps Run in the Background, set to Disable. This reduces background activity and frees up CPU RAM. 2. Turn off Windows Defender Antivirus, Temporary for Gaming. Go to Administrative Templates, Windows Components, Microsoft Defender Antivirus. Turn off Microsoft Defender Antivirus, select Enabled. Disable Antivirus only while gaming. Defender auto resumes after updates or a system restart. 3. Registry. Disable SysMain Superfetch. Run regedit, navigate to H key local machine, system, current control set, sysmaining, sysmain. Set start value to 4. This stops aggressive memory preloading that slows down SSDs during gaming. 5. Disable network throttling index. Go to regedit, H key local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, multimedia, system profile. Create or edit network throttling index set to 8FFS. This change is useful for reducing latency in online games like CSGO or Valorant. Bonus tip, use ultimate performance power plan. Run in command prompt, power CFG dash duplex game E9A42B02-D5DF-448D-AA00-03F14749EB6. EB61. Select Ultimate Performance from Power Plans. This command removes all power saving delays, which is great for gaming desktops. Apply these changes and your system should feel snappier, especially during gaming sessions. Like and subscribe if this helped, and let me know in the comments if you want a full PowerShell version of this, or even if you have any question, I typically reply within a day. You can also reach me by my email, which I will leave in the comments.